Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Backyard Football 2006 Subscriber Custom Team Challenge. And we are coming off literally the worst loss I have taken since I've been playing this game since early 2021. We won our first two games in some close competition with the Giants and the Cardinals. That Cardinals game we won in overtime. But against the Eagles, they put up a basketball score on us. We got basketballed 84 to 49. We couldn't stop a single thing on defense. Six turnovers, y'all. And I think the big change going forward is we have to stop with the turnovers and we have to change up our defensive game plan somehow. Tim Tebow is currently sitting at 14 interceptions on the season. He had three interceptions in his first game. You know, that that's not the worst thing ever and it didn't prevent us from winning that game, right? Then in the second game, he had five touchdown passes to go with five interceptions. And in this last game against the Eagles, he threw six interceptions in one game. Now, not all those interceptions were his fault. Some of them were totally the CPU being cheesy and stepping in front of a pass that should have been an easy catch or a ball bounced off the receiver's hands and into the arms of a defender. So not all those interceptions were his fault. And he still has a 62% completion percentage, which is crazy. But there is no question that our turnovers are a big reason why we cannot keep up with opposing teams and in that last game we committed six turnovers and forced none we were minus six in the turnover category for one game so that is going to need to change moving forward today we have a non-division game against the titans it is at their place this is the last of four straight road games to open the season thankfully week number five next week's game will be at home it will be our home opener it'll be nice to play in front of the home crowd but this has been a stressful road trip so far man very chaotic and it looks like the titans have of Pablo Sanchez and a player named Braceface. Very interesting, but uh, man, let's see if we can limit their turnovers against this Titans team and finally come away with an easy W. It's a wide open pass in the flats to the running back, and that's going to be a first down. Going to be a toss out to the running back. Almost a running back pass. We stop it short, second down and six. We need more defensive plays like that. Got to stop him for short yardage. And that's a sack right there. That is, I believe, Pain Train. Royal Pain Train getting the sack. Good to see him getting involved. Third and 12. And Yao Rico is back there for the sack. How about that? A better defensive start than last week for sure. Fourth and 18, and they're going to punt it off to us to start. So today's goal, no interceptions. Can we have a game with no picks? And that just falls harmlessly. Had to throw that one away. That would be an intentional grounding call in real life. But thankfully, those do not exist in this game. Oh, Dante misses the block. But hand me the ball. Gets the first down anyway. He had a pretty good game last week despite all the turnovers. Might have to feed him the ball more often with Tim not doing well on offense. And there's a sack right there. That defender was completely unblocked. Yikes. Tebow with the throw deep. Dante's got to step on the defender, and that's a big completion for a first down. First down. Tebow looks like he's going to scramble out here. He's got some space and he's going to pick up the first down easily, going out of bounds untouched. Tebow going to have to scramble out again. Oh my gosh, we're just getting no blocking at all. Second and 29. So far, this Titans defense is holding fast. Tebow going to throw it out to Dante, and that's a bad drop right there. Not a good start for the Rhinos, but here is Junior Falk, and he is going to coast into the end zone. Pablo Sanchez cannot catch up to him, and the Rhinos strike first. What a start. There we go. Lots of bad sacks on Tebow, but some good completions, and that is a touchdown for the Rhinos. Can we keep this lead? Yao makes the tackle for a TFL. Great read on that. She's proving to be a pretty handy linebacker for us. There's another pitch out to the left. And that is Tebow with the stop. Lots of time for the Titans quarterback. There's a rocket launcher pass to Pablo Sanchez, and they pick up the first down. First time we're seeing Pablo today. And Yao misses the ball. Hand me the ball is going to have to come up and make the tackle. First down, Titans. There's a QB draw. Yao misses the tackle. 
throws a ball out and hammies a ball with the interception. Actually, that's Dante. Pardon me, Dante Wallace with his first interception of the season. Yao didn't get the tackle, but forced the QB to make a rushed throw, and we get the interception. Good stuff. Good defensive starts for us. Hand me the ball has wide open spaces. Taking the ball out past our 40. Can he get it across midfield? Not quite, but a great carry. Tebow drops back and he's going to scramble out quickly. He saw a lane and he's going to get about nine here. No, that's a first down. Good carry. Good heads up play. Oh, and hand me the ball is streaking. No one covered him. And that is going to be a receiving touchdown for our starting running back. What on earth was that from the Titans? They just left him wide open. Easiest throw of the season for Tim Tebow. My gosh. Just sat back there and threw it. No one was even within 20 yards of hand me the ball. And that it was an easy That's touchdown. And just like that, we are up two scores. Only, I think, the second time we've been up two scores this entire season. We've been in some competitive games. But if we can really extend our lead over the Titans here early, that will be a great cushion for us as we finish up this game. That's a big play for the Titans. Can Dante catch up? Yes, but just barely. Big play. Pablo on the out route, and that's a touchdown for the secret weapon. Man, no hope there. One-on-one -on, -one on the out route. That's just too overpowered in this game. Pitch out right to hand me the ball, and he's got some space. Picking up the easy first down, and he'll go out of bounds. Don't want any shenanigans. We cannot turn the ball over, guys. And now it's Pablo's turn to get burned on the out route. That's Dante Wallace wide open. Big catch right there. Dropping back and Tebow gets instant pressure but goes up the middle with the scramble. Nice play by Tebow off the quick pressure. Getting a gain of about seven yards. Second down and three now. The Rhinos threatening to score. Junior improvises a route. And wow, he catches that. That pass was tipped, but Junior got it on the tip drill. Dangerous throw from Tebow right there. But we catch it. And we are now in the red zone. Pitch out right to hand me the ball. And he's got a lane sprinting to the end zone. Now a rushing touchdown to go with his receiving touchdown. And we are back up by two scores. Pitch out right. And then the running back uses the flying die of power up. Of course, the CPU is going to use up their cheese. And we are sprinting down to catch them. But they're down within the 10. And Yao gets burned one-on-one. -on -one. That was my fault. I was using her. Bad, bad touchdown allowed right there. It's so hard to time these plays sometimes when you're usering. But not my best moment right there as a user. Tebow scrambling out to the left. He's gotten some good scrambles in today. And that's going to be a pickup of almost 20. 21 seconds left to go, though. We need to score before halftime. Hand me the ball. Can he make that? No, that's going to be an interception. Oh, I tried it. And then we had two defenders in that area. Both Dante and Hand me the ball could have made that catch. And unfortunately, Tebow once again has a turnover. Cannot stop the turnovers. But Yao has a great sack right there. And that is going to severely hurt the Titans' chances of scoring before halftime. We got to keep stopping them. Two seconds, one second, zeros on the clock. And Dante gets his tackle broken, but Yao, catch up to him, Yao, come on. Cannot let him score. All right, geez, that was way too close. We head into halftime up 21 to 14. Could have scored there, but that was a bad interception, but we still have the lead, thankfully. Tebow gonna scramble out again. He's been scrambling all game long. Pick up of eight. Junior is going to be wide open on the corner. They always forget to cover him over there. Pablo tracking him down, but big first down catch. And Tebow scrambling out again. They're just giving him the yards, and he's taking them. Hammy ball getting the pitch out to the left, but the defender comes up to make the tackle. Good tackle, but Hammy still gets about six yards on the carry. Oh, thought about throwing it to Junior, but didn't want to throw it on the run. So Tebow is taking it all the way on his own. And that's going to be a rushing touchdown for Tim Tebow. Thought about throwing it, but Pablo was in the area. I thought it would be a little bit risky, so I decided to scramble. And we go back up by two scores. And that's a direct snap to the running back. And he gets a good carry right there. Taking a bit of a page out of our playbook right there. We love to do that direct snap to hand me the ball. 
They use it there to their advantage. Pablo is wide open, though, on the improvised route, and Dante gets burned. Just let him score at this point. Aye, 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 guys. Every time we do a good job of covering the receivers, the receivers break open, and we just can't catch up with them for some reason. It's like once the play breaks down, we are toast. Back to a one-score game. Titans are hanging tight with us. Hammy's a ball having to sprint around the defenders, cutting it back up the middle, and he's got space. Good carry right there. Tebow taking it out to the left, getting close to a first down. Pablo blitzes and leaves Junior open, wide open on his own, streaking towards the end zone. Can he break a tackle? He d he breaks one tackle, and he gets in the end zone. I thought he stepped out of bounds, but he didn't. And we go back up by two scores. How about that play to get across the goal line from Junior Falk? I did not think he was going to score on that play. Check this out. He gets the stiff arm. I thought he got out of bounds, but no, he was shut up against the box, and that didn't count as out of bounds, so he pushed his way into the end zone. What a play from Junior. Pablo on the out route. Dante once again gets burned by it, but he makes that tackle right there. Nice tackle by Kenny Garnett. Short gain on that QB draw. Oh, I see it. Ha every single time it happens. Every single time. I'm going to start using Dante because every single time the same thing happens. The play breaks down. Dante covers the receiver, and then the receiver breaks open to the left, and it's just a wide-open touchdown. I think that is literally how half of the CPU's touchdowns against us this season have happened. That's ridiculous. Junior there on the short route, and he's going to get a big chunk of yards here. Tebow scrambling out now. whole lot of space to the left. The defenders cannot keep up with him. Pablo sprinting down across the field. Tebow's been making it happen on the ground. That is for sure. Shotgun for Tebow. And that's a direct snap to hand me the ball. And he's going to get it in the end zone. Rushing touchdown. We are back up by two scores. Keeping the distance. And we are minimizing the turnovers so far in offense. Just the one interception by Tebow. And that is it. And that's why we are out in front in this game for sure. Can we get that? Yes, we do. Dante Wallace on the interception. That's what I'm talking about. See, I was using a defensive back. CPU threw it to the other side of the field, and we get a turnover. That might be the key, y'all. My whole user strategy might have been wrong this whole time. Hammy a ball. Get out of bounds. Don't want any more cheese. We got to put the nail in the coffin right now. Tim Tebow just going to scramble quickly. Get out of bounds. Scrambling out of the pressure. No one is open. Tebow's going to have to take this one by himself. Just quickly get out of bounds. First down, though. Tebow's been running all over the field. He's definitely got more than 100 yards rushing. Quick pitch out to Hammy Zabal. Get around the defender. And he does. Look at the speed, man. Hammy Zabal is too quick. Pablo Sanchez coming in with the pressure. But Hammy Zabal is wide open. Nice catch. We keep the chains moving. Tebow drops back, and they keep getting good pressure. Man, the defensive line for the Titans is no joke, and Tebow's going to use up a lot of this stamina bar scrambling around, but we can get back to the line of scrimmage. Wow, somehow we survived that. Junior Falk wide open on the corner route. We're not going to use up any more of this stamina bar, but he's going to get close to the end zone. Tebow drops back. Can we put the nail in the coffin? Dante Wallace catches it in the end zone. Bobble it a little bit, but he catches it. We are up by three scores. Biggest margin of victory potentially of the entire season. This one is just about wrapped up. Pain Train makes the tackle there. Ten seconds left. And Kenny Garnett with the sack on the blitz. And the clock continues to count down. Rhinos over the Titans. We handle them. They kept it competitive at first. And there's an interception for Junior Falk to close out the game. What a finish. And that was a complete game. Our most complete game so far. We made some stops on defense. Handled business on offense. And that's why we win by 21 points. 49 to 28. Tim Tebow gets 100 rushing yards in this game. And check out these stats. This shows why we won this game. We only had one turnover. That was the one Tebow interception to their three. So we won the turnover battle. And check 
this out, guys. The Titans had zero total rushing yards. They could not run the ball on us. Just 360 total yards. Meanwhile, we had 309 passing yards, 254 rushing yards for a total of 563 yards. We have a balanced attack, and it paid off this time. We kept the turnovers limited, and we win. So this has to be the strategy moving forward. We have to be able to force turnovers on defense or at least stop the other team and limit our own turnovers. Heading into that game, Tebow had 10 touchdowns on the season to 14 interceptions, but in this game, he narrows the margin between touchdowns and interceptions, throwing for four touchdowns to one pick. Definitely the type of performance we need to see more of. Currently, hand me the ball, 529 yards, eight touchdowns, for an average of 16 yards a carry, Tebow, 319 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. And through the air, Dante Walls, 20 catches for 529 yards and seven touchdowns. And Junior Falk, 26 receptions, 664 yards, five touchdowns. Hammy Zabal also getting it done through the air, 11 catches for 273 yards and two touchdowns himself. Yao Rico continuing to lead the way with tackles, 39 tackles, 19 sacks, way further ahead of everybody else. And we are beginning to pile up the interceptions. Dante Wallace has two interceptions. Royal Payne Train has two interceptions. Junior has an interception and Yao has an interception as well. So we are finally forcing more turnovers. And that was a big reason why we won that last game so easily. Next week, is the first home game of the season. Finally, in week five, it is our home opener. We will be playing the Bengals, a non-division game, but still important in our first home opener. I'm excited for y'all to see the purple jerseys on the purple field. That will be a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Finally, an easier game, especially coming off that embarrassing loss to the Eagles. I'll see you guys in week five. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See you next time.